set. Um, I'm going to show you how we uh, load a basically a truck in tip-off disabled mode and we'll talk a little bit about our dump thresholds when it comes to that. But I'm going to go ahead and get a bucket load here and you'll see on this screen how this system actually works. And you can see there is no weight in that bucket yet. But as I, as I lift this bucket up, you will see as I go through here, I get an estimated weight and then I keep passing up and I get a green box precision weight when you get to the end of that weigh range. Now you might say, Scott, you didn't dump that material in the bucket yet. And it's showing here as well as here. It's because that's our auto calculator feature. What that does is it does the math for you. If you had two or three passes on there before, this would have added that to the cumulative weight. You could say, well, wait a second, that's too much material. I better tip some material off before I go over, get to my target payload and just carry what I need if I'm using tip off the truck mode or simply, uh, if I'm using tip off disabled. You can see here, now what we have here is our dump thresholds. I'm gonna start dumping this bucket and you will see that bucket weight go to asterisks pretty soon. And what that signifies is now you have latched that material into that truck and there's no more changes that you can make to that. If it wasn't actually placed in a truck, you've got the subtraction button here to remove it and then you can reweigh and carry just what you need. But that is what we say our auto calculator feature is and those dump thresholds, a very tight dump threshold there. If you are using the tip off mode, we open up that dump threshold and you'll see how that works. And at a certain point, it would actually reach those asterisks as well. But a very simple tool, let's put it to work here. So I've got that first pass done. Let's say I need more passes with this uh, into this truck. Let's say I'm putting in a basically loading the truck and I, you guys realize here, I don't have a truck here I'm loading, but you get the gist. I got that first pass on. I'm gonna go ahead and get a second pass here. This should not interrupt your normal operating practices. Moving from the pile to the truck and dumping that material. You, you see how that system works? And now, if per se, you need a little bit more, let's go for a third bucket here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this material, get us a little low level weigh in here. Up, oh, 24 tons is too much. I could carry that over, dump it on, and have that whole 24 tons and just store this, or I can make it a bucket adjustment. And as I do, you see it lock that material in. I wanna dump a little material off, and uh, I'm gonna guess that that's the right amount here for me. I'm gonna rack back. I'm gonna subtract off that last pass because I don't. I didn't dump it in my truck. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little low level weight. That's more like it. I was shooting for close to 20 tons. I got it. And now I can just carry this material over to my truck and dump it on and complete that truck out as 20.4 tons. Now, how do I store that? I press this store button right here Notice it clears the display. I don't even need to take my hands up to the display to do that. And now I'm ready to load my next truck. That's how you load with tip-off disabled in this cat payload scale that's standard on every next generation loader.